Bye.
To break into a uh, coffee shop, an Indian restaurant, a pharmacy, um, and uh, an eye doctor um, before police just uh, unleashed tear gas. Do you know what everyone's running from? Uh, yeah, the some people were, were breaking into some businesses. Uh, they had a clear shot to do that for about five minutes, and then the cops just started throwing tear gas and stuff. They started yelling 12, 12, 12, and the cops were coming. Yeah. So uh, now police are only a block away, but. Uh, these guys had a good head start <laughs> before yeah, that. that. What's, what's your name? Who are you, who are you uh, my name is Ford Fisher. Oh, uh, hey, okay. you're the, you're, I see you on Twitter. You're from, oh, yeah. Are you from GW? Uh, American University. American University. This is where yeah, I graduated sorry. from That is a big years. Washington faux pas. This guy, Ford Fisher, <laughs> has had some of the best live coverage of the protest. Thank you. And who are you? All right. I'll, you can go on with man. Yahoo News. With Yahoo News. Yeah. Awesome. He's had some great coverage here. And <laughs> three days of protests have raged in Washington, yeah. D.C. Uh, so according to Ford Fisher of American University, um, after all of the looting that we saw earlier, the police have now advanced with tear gas and have pushed these protesters down the block here. And they are moving down I Street. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. One of the graffiti here says, uh, Bill Gates created Corona. How about that? Show me the tooth. 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 This guy's tooth got shipped off. Or half off. <laughs> there was lit. What happened? <laughs> one of these guys. That these happened guys. just now? Like 30 right minutes ago. 30 yeah. minutes ago. I'm just, I'm just trying to get back now. I can't find the car. Can, you, phone's can I see that again? Yeah. Oh, dude. Get in there, bro. Just fucked oh, up. Detained. I'm so sorry, man. Seventy evening. Chandler, not being detained. Don't ask him why he. I need five seventy evening. Call on him. Thank you. They're, They're saying that we will be unkettled as long as we agree to peace. Hey, Joe, like, listen to him. Listen to him. Listen. Listen. Y'all, hey. One Relax, y'all. Relax, y'all. One at a time. 
If you do not wish to be arrested, you will leave the city under the curfew. You need to leave to the west. Do you guys all understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One at a time. Open up. Yes, sir. Come out. One. One at a time. No, no, no. Don't push him. One at a time. Let him go first. Let him go first. Come out. Loop around, sir. Go to the west and go to the north. One at a time. This is west. This is west. Yes, west. One at a time. One at a time. All right. Uh, the police officers have let us leave the kettle. Uh, he's taking pictures of people with the body cam uh, hello, hello, on their faces as they leave. Hello. Hello. Yo. Oh my God. All right. Okay. They've said that they're not going to arrest as long as people continue peaceably moving westward. So it looks like nobody there is going to get arrested. Uh, I'm going to keep moving west for a little while um, because, frankly, I don't want <laughs> them to get too zealous. That was scary. Um, I would note that, for example, for journalist Alexander Rubenstein, to whom something similar happened in, uh, on Inauguration Day, he was charged and ultimately technically would have faced 80 years in prison after a similar situation. So uh, I can't understate how uh, scary that moment was. Again, uh, this basically started at the White House. Uh, at the White House, there was sort of an explosion of people, uh, you know, lighting stuff on fire and police uh, using tear gas really aggressively to push people back uh, from the fire in order to put that stuff out. As people moved away from the White House, uh, police kept pushing and pushing on them uh, to keep them moving in that direction. Um, and there were a lot of businesses looted along the way. Uh, by my count, there was a there's a bank, a couple coffee shops. Uh, an Indian restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, um, uh, a, a CVS, or, or I'm sorry, a convenience store of some kind. Um, and anyway, as, uh, as they kept moving west, the police ended up blocking in 30 or so people, including me. Me, yeah. me. Yeah. What's up? Uh, my hell, it's called Zenger, uh, oh, but I'm just on, I'm on Twitter right now. On yeah. Twitter? Stay oh, safe, guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what? I've, I've got 5,000 people watching oh, damn. right now. Yeah, what? That's crazy. Have you, you've been out here all night? Uh-huh. You want to talk about what your experience has been out here tonight? I mean, it's just really crazy outside. It's just really crazy. I'm coming from all the way from Brooklyn, to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. You came here from Brooklyn? From Brooklyn. Yeah, I was yeah. visiting Washington. I wanted to see how it really was out here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's really crazy out here. And I understand, I understand how people was, like, being real, real, like, mad at, about what's going on out here because these cops don't change yeah it's been like this all, for a long long time almost like 300 300 years we've been enslaved basically and it's still going on it's still going on we need to just change it that's what we, we just need to change it that's it and if everybody could just give out a helping hand and really do this the right way instead of riding in the streets you know doing what they're really doing mm -hmm. be peaceful about it be peaceful about it but the cops obviously well, what's your perspective about the way the police have acted tonight i mean i've I, I felt mean, that. I don't know if you can see the big bump on my head right there. You got hit with a pellet? <laughs> yeah, right on my nah, forehead. That's but, crazy, bro. You know, so, but what, what's been your experience with the cops tonight? Oh, um, to, I've been away from them. I'm going to be honest with you, boys. I've been away from them. I don't want to do nothing near them. Oh, okay, okay. So I've been, I was around it, but, um, yeah, they was firing sure. back. And I seen them firing back the pellets and stuff like that. But, you know, I was trying not to be nowhere near <laughs> Yeah, all right. Trust me. Where I'm from, we don't want to be nowhere near cops. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, boys, man. You have right. a good one. Yeah, you too. All right, so I'm going to. Uh, keep heading westbound. So things dissipated mostly uh, other than the actual uh, kettle that I was in there. Um, I'm sure things are still going, but uh, I'm now uh, walking into George Washington Circle where I'm not seeing too much of anything. Um, and there is regular traffic. So, all right. Basically, I'm going to be walking toward home. I might go live again if somehow this intercepts with uh, where I am, but I think that's probably going to be a wrap for me. Uh, as a summary, you know, I actually didn't see, um, I think, any arrests tonight. Maybe one. I saw one person kind of getting dragged around by the cops, but I couldn't even tell if uh, they were arrested or not. Um, so it's really been about blunt force on the police's part, not so much uh, actually arresting people. So anyway... Uh, I'm signing off here from GW Circle. Um, thanks for watching, and I will have some HD footage up on Twitter later.